you have to evaluate people and be fair. And when I talk to people at the Air College and at the Squadron Officer School, I, I, t I make two points that I think are extremely important. Number one, that being in the military is not the end of life. That you'll be, a, if you do 30 years in the service, you're gonna spend more time as a civilian than that because people live like me and the rest of them, 88, it's 87, you're not going. But that being in the military could be a good basis. Everything I learned about dealing with people and having it came from my military life. And when I transferred to a college and then later on to a corporation, they were very important in, in my success in life. And it goes back to another conversation I had with Ben, uh, with uh, Danny James. Uh, Danny used to make a, a speech if he could get 10 people together. And his idea was, and he said it to me once in a private conversation, he said, you know, get all the schooling, get all the education, get all the things you can possibly get. He said, because opportunity knocks at everybody's door one or two times. He says, when opportunity knocks and says, here I am, don't say, wait till I pack my bags. And I said, bags? He said, yes, your education, your desire, your willingness to take a chance and do things. He said, that's it. He said, because if you pack your bags, opportunity is gone. He said, so the idea is when opportunity knocks, and says, here I am, grab these bags you already have and say, I'm ready. And that is the second part of my idea about it, that young people nowadays, no matter where they're from or what their, their background or racial ethnic, should be prepared. Get as much education as you can. And in fact, I preach this at the command and staff college in the and the squad north, of course, and the commanders say, for God's sake, don't tell them to go to a school all the time. I did quite a bit of schooling in the service. They sent me through UCLA. They sent me through NYU for the masters. In fact, I had hooked into being a doctorate when they got wise to me <laughs> and sent me overseas. And they sent me to Panama, which was a very nice deal. But I've been to the academics instructors course. I've been to the command and staff college. I've been to the squadron officers school. And uh, all of those were educational opportunities as far as I was concerned, which came into play when I ended up going into corporate America. Uh, I was fully prepared as the people that came out of Harvard or Pittsburgh or places like that. So I, I try to tell young people, this is it. And it took some of us, like the 332nd, to learn it first before we could tell other people. Before that, it was a case of black and white.